Big picture, there's the storm system that came through Texas yesterday, dumped a lot of ice in Atlanta today. Look at the cold weather across almost the entire country, 40s, 30s, 20s, and teens from Houston all the way to International Falls where it's 8 degrees. Temperature outlook going forward into the second half of the month looks unusually cold, below normal. There's plenty of cold air across North America. Churchill's 18 below, Kugluktuk is 15 below. If we're going to get a really bitter cold, like a dangerous damaging freeze, like pipe damaging freeze, it starts here in Siberia. That's why we track the temps here. Belaya Gore is 19 below, Zhryanka is 21 below. Back when we had the 21 freeze in February of 21, we had temps here at 30 and 40 below. So air here is not quite as cold as back then. If we're gonna get this into the US, it needs a mechanism to bring that air across the Arctic Circle and into Canada, then down into the lower 48. And that mechanism is the jet stream flow, but right now the flow is more west to east than anything else. Now watch, so again, here's Siberia. That's where all that bitter cold air is. We're gonna see the jet lift up and makes a kink. It's gonna grab more Arctic air and that's going to head south. We've got more cold days coming the second half of the month, but that doesn't arc up into Siberia. So for the moment, that cold air in Siberia is locked and staying right there. We will get, that's the North Pole right there. We will get more air from the North Pole, which is cold enough to give us what we've had, these light freezes where we're in the 30s and upper 20s. This is Sunday, January 19th. From the Arctic all the way down to Texas, that'll be our next really cold spell. In the morning,